Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Kyle Floyd, the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, very well, thank you. I'm sure you're doing great. Gold is doing phenomenal. And Kyle, another fantastic quarter from Vox and a stellar 2022. It stood out to me that your profitability numbers were very good for a junior royalty company and that you raised your dividend. Congratulations on that once again. What is driving these great results? Well, Rich, it really comes down to what Vox is and who we are and what you know we intend to generate for our investors. And really the underpinning of our business is the competitive advantage that we have in terms of both sourcing and identifying unique royalty opportunities at fantastic value. And so what you're seeing is the compounding effects of us doing that year in and year out where we're identifying great projects at great valuations uh, and allowing those projects to mature within the portfolio. And so the success of the underlying projects and us having exposure through the royalty model, which means we get a percentage of revenue, but are not exposed to the cost structures of these mining operations that are obviously experiencing rampant inflation, um, really means that we're able to drive fantastic results throughout the business. And you know, I'm very pleased to report we were able to increase our dividend by 10%. That was a big milestone for us when we originally came on the show. And I think I was asked at one point, you know, what's uh, what's the potential for a dividend within Vox Royalty Corp? And I said, look, if we're when we're in position to produce a dividend for our investors, it'll be meaningful and it'll be capable of growing. And I'm really happy to report that we've been able to achieve both of those, um, both both of those stated objectives of our of our dividend plan. And that's ultimately creating a lot of value for our shareholders and being returned to shareholders. Congratulations on increasing the dividend 10%. That is absolutely phenomenal. I know shareholders are super excited and the markets have been very volatile and the company has stood up quite well. Congratulations on that as well. However, Vox continues to be very undervalued. What do you think will help change that in 2023? Well, you know, at kind of the core of Vox is just this belief in our execution capability. We know that we have a competitive advantage. We have a very systematic process around uh, creating that value for our shareholders and within the business. And ultimately, we do have faith in the markets that that long-term value that we're creating will be reflected. And so for us, it's more of the same, more of the same execution, being very disciplined in our royalty acquisitions, and then also increasing investor awareness that goes alongside of that. I still believe that we're you know, very underexposed in certain investor markets, and I think we can do a better job there. So I fundamentally just believe that the markets will ultimately prove to be efficient with Vox and that our valuation will, will reflect the fundamentals within the business and the long-term value that's been created. Well, I know investors are really excited about what Vox is doing, and these are very interesting times. What are the things investors should be thinking about when they consider Vox Royalty Corp? Well, one of the common themes within the commodity industry right now is price inflation, uh, or sorry, cost inflation. So we're in a very unique position where metal prices are high, but also costs are high for the mining companies. And so Vox being a royalty company, you know, puts us in a position to really capitalize on some of the market dynamics where most companies and most industries just aren't in that position. So clearly with positive cash flow and not being exposed to the cost input inflation that we're seeing from the operating mining companies, we're uniquely in a spot to continue producing outsized value uh, within our royalty model. And so, you know, we are very happy with where the metal prices are. We think this is a great price for gold. It has been a great price for gold. It, you know, obviously, there's potential for it to go higher um, in these types of environments, but we don't need metals to go higher for our portfolio to really stand out and continue to organically create value. So we believe it's a great market for Vox. We believe it has been a great market for Vox. And I'm also excited about what the future holds, because it certainly se seems like the winds have shifted in the favor of the metals. Uh, and that's just more wind at our back. Yeah, you know, gold over 1900 what are you most excited about for the company in 2023? Well, for Vox, you know, we have a, two really kind of profound aspects that create growth within our portfolio and with our operating metrics. Um, and so what really drives revenue for us comes from two things. One, expansions of mines that are already in production. And so the results that you've seen from us last year 
really weren't factoring in the expansions that have happened over the last three to six months. So that would be the Janet Ivy Gold Project in Western Australia. That's the one Iron Ore Project as well, uh, also in Western Australia. So these projects are really expanding their production profile. So that's fantastic for us. I believe that's relatively low risk growth um, that hasn't been demonstrated within our operating results quite yet. And then alongside of that, are new assets coming online. So we believe that there could be anywhere from two to four assets uh, that come online this year for us in terms of new production. Uh, and that's obviously going to generate new and additional revenue for Box as well. So I'm excited about how we're positioned. The market dynamics are really profoundly positive for us. High metal prices were not affected by the high inflationary cost input pressure that, that the operators are feeling. So for investors looking at, well, what industries and what companies can thrive in you know, what's clearly a very complex market environment, I think we're uniquely positioned. Well, I'm super excited to see you guys continue to grow. Congratulations on increasing the dividend. Congratulations on another fantastic quarter. We're here with the CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, I do believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. It's one of the few companies that's been able to stay strong in a very tough market environment. They're paying a dividend. The symbol in Canada is VOX. The symbol in America is VOXR on the NASDAQ. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the CEOs. We bring them to you first. And Kyle, thank you for joining us once again. Well, Rich, of course, and thank you always for the support. We're excited about where Vox is and how we're positioned. So thank you for having us back on. Always a pleasure. The CEO of Vox Royalty Corp, Kyle Floyd. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich to be Live saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.